Thank you everyone for joining today. Uh, I hope everyone is, is keeping well and, and staying safe. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with myself, my name is uh, John Tolton and I'm the UK Sales Manager for Cyclu. Uh, hopefully this webinar won't take uh, too much time, roughly about 30 minutes, uh, leaving a bit of time at the end for a few questions. Uh, so for those on the webinar who aren't familiar with uh, Cyclu, brief overview to who we are then. So we were founded in 2008 with headquarters in Israel. We released our first all silicone based gigabit capable radio in 2012 after four years of research and development. Now when we came into the market, we we're extremely cost disruptive, going from an average cost of $30,000 for a gigabit capable wireless link to just 5,000. Since this initial success, we've been growing by an average of 30% year on year, to which we now have the most comprehensive millimeter wave uh, radio portfolio, uh, stretching from our 60 gigahertz point to multipoint links through to our 10 gigabit full duplex capable units in 70 to 80 gigahertz. Uh, we have over 100,000 installations across 45 different countries. Uh, we have been deployed in over 225 smart city projects. Uh, just to name a few, we've done the likes of uh, Hull, uh, Dundee, uh, Aberdeen uh, in the UK. And as a result of this, we are the largest millimetre wave manufacturer in the world. Um, as of 2019, we had over 60% market share in the UK. And as of 2020 so far, uh, nine out of every 10 E-band radio that has been registered in the UK has been sold. So in light of everything that's been uh, going on recently, uh, subject to COVID-19, I thought it'd be important to start this webinar by defining you know, what is essential or critical infrastructure. To which essential or, or critical infrastructure means infrastructure, systems and networks that provide essential services necessary for social and economic well-being. Uh, interestingly as well, uh, DCMS recently quoted, now more than ever, uh, the country is reliant on fixed line and mobile communication networks. Telecommunication has therefore been included as one of the critical sectors in new government regulations and legislation in response to dealing with the COVID-19 outbreak. So with this in mind, we wanted to run this webinar today to demonstrate to new and existing partners exactly what we've been doing in this space. Uh, hopefully spark some new ideas about how we can utilize wireless as a stopgap to the existing network infrastructure dilemma. We will discuss how we compare and, and coexist with traditional forms of connectivity. Give a small walkthrough as to what is millimeter wave. We'll be demonstrating some exciting existing case studies that we are involved with in relation to critical infrastructure. And finally, how we can automate any network through our network design tools and services, whether that be from the office or, or by simply from working from home like we are at the moment. So what are the connectivity options available today for, for critical infrastructure networks? Well, typically it's, it's these four options here. Uh, we have fiber, which is undoubtedly the best form of connectivity, should you be able to trench it everywhere. We have legacy wireless, which is your 2.4 to 5.8 gigahertz frequencies, which is also important. Uh, mobile, whether that be uh, 3G, 4G or, or 5G if it exists. And then uh, millimeter wave, which is the frequencies that Cyclu sit in which is 60, uh, 70 and 80 gigahertz. Now, without reading from the slide, I think the main point we are trying to express here is that with millimeter wave, we offer all of the advantages of these other connectivity options without not many or, or any of the disadvantages. Like fiber, we are inherently secure by design, but offer one to eight bit or two, five, six bit AES encryption. Uh, we offer up to 10 gigabits in capacity, uh, soon to be 20 gig. Uh, we have the affordability and flexibility of being a wireless solution, offer very low latency, and in, in, in fact, in many situations, uh, better than fiber. Uh, we're incredibly reliable and offer a 90-year mean time between failure and all of our products. Uh, we are immune to interference because of the higher frequencies that we operate in. We have an extremely fast time to market. Uh, as an example, Perdicom today have over £600,000 worth of cyclic stock on their shelf available for next day delivery. So what is the, the network infrastructure dilemma? Well, I touched on it a moment ago that um, fiber is the best form of, of connectivity. And I think this slide depicts that quite nicely. 
you know, fiber is great, but it is expensive and very time consuming. And in situations like we face today where we're reliant on our communication network for essential services, we need to find alternative ways to achieve fiber-like reliable connectivity, whether that be on a, a temporary or a, or a permanent basis. So I suppose that leads quite nicely into what is millimeter wave. Uh, below you will see a graph showing all wireless transmission frequencies available to operate on today. Uh, on the left hand side, we have the traditional sub six gigahertz bands. Uh, in the middle, we have our licensed or, or microwave bands stretching from six gigahertz to 42 gigahertz. And on the right, we have our millimeter wave bands broken into two sections. Uh, the first being V band, which is 60 to 70 gigahertz and the second being E-band, which is uh, 70 to 80 gigahertz. You will notice that the size difference on the right-hand side of the graph in regards to the millimeter wave frequencies. And I think the main point we'd like to make here is that by operating in millimeter wave, you have more available spectrum and frequencies for use than in any of the rest of the available wireless frequencies. Now, as an example, if you compare the millimeter wave frequency to the likes of the sub six gigahertz spectrum, where there is something like 250 megahertz worth of available spectrum to operate in, uh, we with Ciclu and millimeter wave have 35 and a bit times that space. Uh, I suppose another massive advantage to operating in millimeter, uh, millimeter wave is that the spectrum is either uh, license exempt at 60 gigahertz, so no ongoing operational costs, uh, or lightly licensed at 50 pound per year in, in 70 to 80 gigahertz. Now compare this to the licensed uh, bands, where you can be paying a significant ongoing OPEX cost per year, which, which could be in the thousands of pounds. Uh, we see this as a significant cost benefit. In addition to this, uh, we have the added benefit of utilizing our, our patented antennas. Now you will see on, on the image on the right hand side of your screen, but the beams coming out of our radio are highly directional, uh, roughly between 0.5 and 2 degrees for our point-to-point -point products and up to 5 degrees for our point-to-multipoint solution. Uh, now, this is a massive advantage as, as this compared with our uh, abundance of spectrum pretty much means in terms of wireless, we are interference-free and have the ability to achieve speeds of 10 gig full duplex, but really an extremely ideal fiber alternative, especially in times like these where maybe it's quite difficult to deploy. So three things we'd like you to, to remember about Cicli. Um, and just quickly touching back on what DCMS quoted earlier about communication networks being critical. Uh, by utilizing Cicli, we offer the ability of interference-free transmission. We offer speeds of up to 10 gigabits full duplex. And I suppose because of this, we offer a fast, efficient, reliable way to achieve fiber-like connectivity without having to pay any ongoing OPEX heavy lease buying costs. Uh, in fact, we, we often suggest for councils or end users that if you, if you give us 12 months of your operational cost in one capital investment in Ciclu, you will see a, a return on your investment after year one. So just a short um, overview to our product offering from Ciclu. I have seen a question, but I'll get to it just at the end. Uh, so we have three flavors uh, of radios as such. Uh, we have our rooftop uh, high capacity uh, ether hall product. Uh, now these units can achieve uh, speeds of anything between one gigabit uh, half duplex and up to 10 gigabits full duplex uh, and can achieve distances of just shy of 10 kilometers. Uh, we then have our, our small form factor 16 centimeter by 16 centimeter uh, V band street level radios. Uh, these units can achieve speeds of, of anywhere between 100 meg and a, and a gig half duplex and can achieve distances of up to one kilometer. And then we finally have our, our multi-hall point to multi point solution in, in 60 gigahertz, which looks like a 1.8 gigabit per second base unit that can connect up to eight gigabit capable terminal units. Uh, max distance it can achieve is just shy of 350 meters because uh, we are heavily affected by oxygen attenuation in this frequency. Uh, however, it boasts features of, of auto alignment functionality and, and comes out of the box with one to eight bit AES encryption as a standard uh, and is an extremely cost effective way to achieve gigabit connectivity. Oh, and just uh, one final thing to note, uh, nearly all of our products come with uh, an inbuilt layer two switch and, and PoE out functionality. So how does fiber and, and millimeter wave coexist and, and what does that model look like? 
Uh, well, this image here is, is a good example of a, a fibre-only approach. Um, today, we are seeing a significant amount of fibre trenching from the hardwire carriers at the core. However, unfortunately, they're leaving behind a, a huge gap at the edge, or, or as shown in this image as the unhappy-faced uh, dead zones as such. Now, we suggest that in order to achieve connectivity in these areas, you take the existing fibre infrastructure, marked by the blue lines here, and fire or scale that connectivity by utilising our millimetre wave sick through radios. Uh, here is a good example where you take your existing uh, fibre point of presence and scale out from this location by utilising our sick through uh, radios. The idea is to start with our high capacity E-band up to 10 gigabit per second products to hop from rooftop to rooftop. Then utilise our, our V-band, small form of factor radios, provide gigabit enabled services to the MDUs. Uh, then utilise our, our multi-point or multi-hall solution to provide cost-effective gigabit uh, connectivity to the home. While managing this uh, entire network all via our uh, element management system, or software, should I say. Uh, on top of this, uh, we have the ability to design any network to fit in with uh, all customer SLAs. So whether that, be, whether that needs to be, you know, three nines, uh, five nines, three and a half nines avail uh, availability. Uh, this is most certainly something that we can uh, take into consideration when designing the network with our tools. So with this in mind, uh, how are we working in the critical infrastructure space? Uh, well, one of our most recent deployments was to provide a, a mission critical security network for Duke Power Plant in the US. Uh, now, as you can imagine, power plants are considered a high priority terrorist threat and, and Duke was in desperate need to, to revamp its uh, CCTV network. Uh, they had a deadline to get this network up and running in, in just a couple of months. Uh, they had considered fiber, however, this was more of a, a long term project, which they had also suffered cuts and failures previously. So needed to look at a reliable alternative. Uh, so they turned to Cyclu to provide that alternative to which we deployed over 200 uh, 256 AES encrypted radios to connect to 230 cameras in just a matter of weeks. Uh, now, the good thing for this site is that our radios offers uh, very low power consumption, with each ODU requiring 26 watts or less. So uh, instead of having to get power switched from the site, they could actually power our radios uh, via solar. Uh, here are some cool images of, of what we did. Uh, you'll notice on the image on the left hand of the, uh, side of your screen that there are five or six of our radios stacked on top of each other. Now, I suppose this uh, links uh, nicely back to my comment earlier about millimeter wave having an abundance of spectrum to operate in. Uh, in fact, these 60 gigahertz radios can operate on 11 different non-overlapping channels within the V-band frequency. So it's a nice image to show just how densely we can be deployed without causing self-interference. In addition to this, uh, you'll notice on the right hand side of our screen, um, obviously those radios being powered by uh, the solar panels. Uh, as well as Duke, uh, we've also provided a robust security network for BP petrol station in Mexico. Uh, essentially, uh, BP are, are looking to grow the petrol station uh, business in Mexico and aiming to add at least 500 more locations. Uh, naturally, uh, at every petrol station, there needs to be a comprehensive security network and, and also connectivity to each pump. Uh, fiber was the previous standard to achieve this connectivity. However, this was to take too much time and, and each day the, the garage or petrol station wasn't open, they were losing revenues. So we proposed uh, utilizing our, our wireless portfolio. Uh, for this specific uh, station, they utilize our auto align uh, 60 gigahertz point to multi point capable V band product to connect up to 24 cameras and pumps alike in just a matter of days. Now, the company is still trenching fiber to this station but realizes the quality in our product to achieve mission critical connectivity and will leave our radios there as a resiliency to the fiber network. So, what have we done in, in the smart city or, or smart motorway um, space? Well, globally, I, I mentioned earlier that we're involved in, in over 225 smart city projects, whether that be for digital inclusion, uh, OPEX heavy lease line reduction, CCTV backhaul, uh, B2B connectivity. But one of the most uh, recent projects we have rolled out is Sheffield Wi-Fi. Now, the aim of this project was to provide super fast free Wi-Fi to all the people in Sheffield to overcome the digital divide. Uh, so in conjunction with our technology partner, uh, Ruckus or Comscope, 
we provided reliable backhaul to each and every one of their APs, um, providing roughly 20 gigabits per second to 293 streets in the city, allowing up to 24,000 users to connect simultaneously. Um, if anyone on this webinar is, is ever in and around um, Sheffield Town Centre, uh, look up at the lamppost, uh, you'll see one of our small form factor V-band radios connecting to an AP. Um, main reason why we have this technology partnership with Ruckus or, or Comscope uh, is because we have the ability to keep the five gigahertz spectrum clean for Wi-Fi connectivity due to the higher frequencies that we operate in. Uh, for smart motorways, we're involved with this particular 1.8 billion pound upgrade to the A14 in conjunction with Highways England. Uh, now to achieve this upgrade of, of 26 miles worth of road, a, a large amount of utilities had to be relocated. Uh, in order to complete this upgrade, a mission critical security network needs to be put in place for the well-being of the workers and infrastructure. Uh, the CCTV needed to be in intervals of, of 300 meters to 1.5 kilometers. Uh, because they were hopping from lamp column to lamp column, they needed a, a wireless solution to be small form factor in size, but with no more than a, a 0.5 foot antenna, um, but could still achieve distances of, of over 1.5 kilometers and above. Um, both the integrator and Cyclo recommended to use our 710TX small form factor unit. Uh, this unit is only 16 centimeters by 16 centimeters and has the added benefit of operating an E-band so it can achieve distances of, of, uh, of above 1.5 kilometers. Uh, this then resulted in a, in a successful rollout of, of 20 plus uh, 710TX units to connect uh, up to 20 odd ca uh, cameras. Uh, so in regards to temporary infrastructure, um, I suppose this is a, about as close as I'll ever get to Love Island. Um, however, we've provided connectivity for this uh, HIT ITV show. Hit, yeah, we'll say HIT, HIT ITV show. Um, this opportunity arose when, when ITV realised that they needed to achieve connectivity bridging from the villa. They had all of the cameras at their film and edit facilities, which were about three kilometres away. Uh, physical trenching of fiber was their original go-to. Um, however, they soon realized that uh, there wasn't an operator available to get this or to get them this connectivity quick enough. Uh, they needed a, a reliable low latency fiber light product, but with the wireless flexibility. Uh, after some shopping around and, and testing, they quickly landed on Cyclu, um, specifically our 1200FX uh, to provide that high capacity, low latency um, connectivity. Uh, this resulted in, in this uh, specific season of Love Island um, being powered by Cyclo as such. Uh, and off the back of its success and, and ease of redeployment, ITV will be looking to utilize this technology for, uh, for future shows. Uh, I suppose one final one and another great example of, of Cyclo being utilized for temporary events is, is what we did with a great partner of ours, uh, SSVC, or, or otherwise known as uh, BFBS. Um, quick background, I suppose. Uh, BFBS is a, is a charity organisation uh, committed to providing the UK military with a, a welcome part of ordinary life in uh, extraordinary situations via the uh, entertainment My Player TV platform. Uh, this particular MOD site was, was in the middle of the Afghanistan uh, desert. Uh, they had a connectivity point of presence, but needed to reliably distribute that connectivity around the camp to various uh, Wi-Fi APs. Uh, they needed a robust carrier grade solution that was easy to install um, as there was potential of military personnel helping out with the installation. Uh, on top of this, the solution had to offer high capacity and, and be able to withstand extreme uh, changes in temperatures. So they landed on, on Cyclo 60 gigahertz point to multi point uh, solution to provide that connectivity around the camp due to its auto alignment uh, functionality. Uh, its carrier grades uh, build and reliability and importantly it was lightweight so it could be mounted on you know slim poles as you can see from the picture in the top right hand corner. Uh, in the end they installed two base units to connect uh, uh, eight thermal units providing connectivity to the ruckus AP so all, uh, 400 military personnel could access BFBS's MyPlayer uh, platform and off the back of this uh, for other various campsites and pop-up sites with the MOD. So on to our um, professional services. Uh, okay, so, so we boast a full suite of professional services um, that can take our uh, customers from conception through to design, through to the physical installation of our kits. Uh, we can be as involved or as non-involved as, as you would like. 
the great thing is that we can give you the tools to build a successful, reliable network from your own device, uh, whether that's utilizing our, our link budget calculator, our, our clever, windy network design tools, uh, or by utilizing our online uh, e-learning courses that can get you um, that can get you set up from our portal. We offer round-the-clock support um, from our various support teams around the globe. Uh, in addition to this, Perdicom have a fantastic support team, which includes um, three technically uh, SIPTU certified engineers, uh, which in times like this, uh, uh, so I touched uh, uh, on it a little bit at, uh, a while ago about element uh, management software. Uh, in regards to utilizing the full Cyclo ecosystem. Uh, this is a fantastic tool uh, as it gives you the, the ability to maximize your network performance by managing all the elements in your network. Um, it gives you a faster time resolution to any problems that may arise and allows you to configure and provide software updates to, to all elements at just a single click of a button. Um, in, a, in addition to this, uh, our EMS software offers hierarchical uh, network visualization, whether that be in a tree view or, or map view. Uh, so you can physically see where, where each radio has been deployed. Uh, it has the ability to show real time or, or historical performance uh, data and offers a series of alarms um, from warning to critical, um, which when in periods of lockdown, uh, I suppose having the ability to provide one touch configuration, uh, software updates, and being able to physically manage each radio from your laptop at home is, is crucial for. Uh, network. So in summary, uh, you know, why not millimeter wave for critical infrastructure as we offer fiber like performance, but with wireless flexibility. Uh, we offer secured multi gigabit connectivity up to 10 gigabits full duplex. Uh, we have quick deployment times and installation times on all of our radios. Uh, and we are an interference-free wireless operation uh, that has successfully deployed over 100,000 uh, units globally. Um, so I think uh, that's it. And um, thank you, everyone, for listening today and joining. Uh, do we have any questions? Which I think I saw a few uh, pop up. So we, we have one here. Uh, what is stock availability like for, for Cyclu? Uh, well, I, I touched it just a moment ago that, that Perdicom have over 600 thousand pounds worth of stock on the shelf at any given time and, and do today and can still do next day delivery on and I'm pretty sure all of our radios so they have all of our uh, ODUs and radios in stock so so very very good um, uh, can you take a, an 8 to 10 uh, link today at 2 gigabits and upgrade to 5 gig and then to 10 gigabits uh, good question and uh, yes you can um, so the 8 to 10 today can either come at 2 gigabit capable and um, 5 gigabit capable or 10 gigabit capable if you want to start it at two gigabits capable, it's kind of a pay as you grow idea. So you can take it from two gigabits to five gigabits and then five gigabits to 10 gigabits as, as your network um, should expand. What is the shortest uh, distance a 10 gigabit solution will work? It's a very good question, but you have to uh, turn down the transmit power. Now, I can't give you the exact uh, meter off the top of my head, but extremely close, but it's a very good question. and. Um, I'll take that down and I'll, I'll ping you an email on it afterwards. 60 gigabit loss is due to rain, typical UK rainstorms. How much loss is expected? Well, we, so we, we take this into consideration when we, when we look at our um, link budget calculator and our network design tool. So if you our link budget calculator, which you can all have access to, which is part of our partner portal, and takes in consideration all of the, the rain uh, and met data that's, that's happened over the past, I don't know, 60 years, and can give you um, accurate performance um, per location that you may be deploying the 60 gigahertz point to multi point product in the UK. So if you actually just put in the coordinates of, of where you're trying to achieve, it will give you an accurate reading of what that uh, rain fade will be expected in that area. What about capacity expansion? If we have a license for 500 megabits and uh, now need one gigabit? Yeah, so it's, it's a good question. Um, all of our radios come with uh, Various different capabilities out of the box. So, for example, if you bought a 600 TX from us today, it comes as 500 meg out of the box, but has the ability to be upgraded to a gig via a software license. Um, similarly, we do that for our, our high capacity units, whether that be a 1200 or sorry, a, a 2200 FX, that would be a gig out of the box, can be upgraded to, uh, to two gigabit later on, on down the line via a software uh, license. Cool. Um, I hope that answers uh, all the questions.
Um, if, you, if you do have any more uh, questions, please feel free to, to ping it to me via my email address just here on the screen. Um, thank you everyone for joining. Um, have a lovely rest of the day and um, hopefully speak soon. Thank you.